Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So today's video, I am finally filming another photo card reorganizing slash putting new photo cards into my photo card binder video. Um, it's been a while since I filmed one of these. I think it's been like a month or so. And this has been really delayed because I've just been super busy. I haven't had the time to just, you know, film this long ass video because it is gonna be a long video like the last one, but yeah, I finally have some time and I'm gonna get this over with. So yeah, no more procrastinating because I have a lot. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So you can see I have my two binders here. This is my Stray Kids binder and my everything else binder, I think. However, I do need to get another binder because you can see this binder is pretty much full and I have a lot of photo cards to put in. Um, actually, right here. Um, you can see this is in a glossier like bubble bag. Um, I put all the photo cards I needed to store and you can see there's like literal bundles in there. So yeah, I think I may have to get a new binder, but we'll have to see. We'll see. So yeah all right let's get into it so actually um some of these photo cards i have in this bag um i actually did store them in my last photo card video but i had to take out like pretty much a majority of them out because i filmed my july slash august update video yeah exactly my july and august update video that's how long these photo cards have been sitting out for <laughs> just keep that in mind so yeah, um, I actually did organize this off camera so that it was like more organized. It was a giant mess before, but yeah, pretty much I think, uh, hold on. Okay, so these photo cards are the ones I already stored before and I just had to take it out for my update video and I just never put back. So yeah, these are all new photo cards by the way, so we'll deal with that later, but for now, instead of you know, I'm not going to make you guys watch me store it again, so I'm just going to do like, I don't know, like a time lapse. So it's just like super quick of me just putting these back and then we get into the real good stuff. Okay, now that I've successfully put all those old cards back into my binder, let's go ahead and start with the new ones. So obviously I have a separate binder for Stray Kids. So I will start with Stray Kids. So Stray Kids wise, obviously there hasn't been really any new releases. Um, so it's not gonna be that long, but obviously the only new release there was was um, Yellow with the Taiwanese album, so yeah um these are just like all the new ones that i got so far so we have you know yellowwood taiwanese i didn't trade these cards yet i do want to trade for hyunjin or in so or felix so like if y'all have them let me know if you guys want to trade but yeah but these are also some new photo cards that i got i finally got a black border in i know very exciting i finally completed his um i am who and then I traded my Sungmin photo card for IN for the Taiwanese. Um, I think this is the IMU card. And then, oh my god. So, okay. Basically, um, you guys remember from my last video, uh, this Yellowwood I am Yellowwood, I mean Yellow Border I am Who photo card never arrived in the mail. It's just lost at this point. I've literally waited for like, I think almost three months now, and it still hasn't arrived, so. I don't know, maybe one day it will, but the um, seller who sold it to me, she's legit, um, it's not her fault. She um, made up for it. She um, actually gifted me two photo cards, um, this Hungmin one and an Irene one from Red Velvet. And I was so thankful that she would even consider doing that because it's not even her fault, but yeah. So thank you to the person who sold it to me. But the issue is I, I got to choose my photo cards, like the ones that um, she was going to give me. But the issue, oh my God, I'm so dumb. Okay, I'll show you guys like right now. 
as you can see, I already have this photo card. I seriously thought I traded this photo card or something or I didn't have it. But lo and behold, I already have it. So I basically just asked for a duplicate card. So yeah, I think I might just like sell this or trade it. I don't know yet, but for now, I just have that as a duplicate. <laughs> I'm such a fail, I know, but yeah. Anyways, um, I'm going to put my yellow with Sungmin Polaroid in here because I have like no room in this binder. So I'm just going to put it there for now. Oh wait, this thing's like flying off. And then finally, I have IN's IMU. I mean, I'm who black border. We can put that here. Oh my god, yes. Finally. I can't believe I have all these IM photographs. I actually completed pretty much IN's album set except for this IMU pink border. So yeah, if anyone's selling that or whatever, let me know. Because I think I pretty much finished my IN collection for that. But they are going to release a new album, so... <laughs> That's gonna be fun, but anyways. Um, oh yeah, I have this photo card now, so I think I'm just gonna move this unit one. Put this one right here. And then I guess since this has Felix and IN, and IN, I'll put it here. That means everything gets pushed back. Okay, lately, y'all, Wujin has seriously been bias wrecking me. Oh my god, I don't know what it is, but. Yeah, Ujin, oh my god. Especially with double knots. Oh, he looks so good. I'd said before that Ujin was actually my first bias in Stray Kids, but even though he's not like my super bias right now, wait, super bias? What even is that? But he has been bias wrecking me lately, so yeah, but honestly, all of Stray Kids is bias. Like, just, they just all bias wreck me, so yeah. Okay, this is annoying because I have to like shift everything. <laughs> I'll just like go like this. Um, okay, I actually am running out of these binder sleeves, these like card binder sleeves. Um, I haven't had time to get new ones and my photo card collection obviously is growing. So that's not good. Um, I actually wanted to get some before I filmed this video, but I just couldn't. So. Yeah, who knows? I think, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to put all my photo cards in this video, which sucks because it sucks, but, you know, it's my fault for not getting new sleeves. But anyways, now, what do I do? Like, see, look, I'm running out of space. What do I do? Okay, um, I think I'm just gonna put this here. And then, uh, okay, technically this is not a photo card. This is a sticker from their high stay box. So for now, I'm just gonna put it here, even though it is official, but yeah. That is it for Stray Kids. That was really quick because obviously, you know, there wasn't a lot. Okay, now we're gonna get into the good stuff. So you can see, oh my God, I have so many friggin' photo cards to put in, but yeah, where should I even start? I don't even know. I think I'm going to start with Twice because Twice is like my second, like second in my binder. So I'm just gonna do Twice first. You can see, oh my God, okay. Actually not this, hold on. I put my 17 and Twice photo cards together. Oh my God, look at how thick that is. This, oh. Yeah, um, you can see literally just from one album, all these photo cards <laughs> which i'm thankful for but at the same time it's like holy crap but yeah um so this is the segments where i guess i'm putting my new photo cards in rather than reorganizing so yeah let's get into this already um let's see again like i said before i'm like running out of space so i mean i'm running out of these binder sleeves so after twice and 17, I don't think I'll be able to put any more new photo cards in, but I'm going to try it and squeeze as much space as I possibly can. So uh, let's see how this goes. Um, I'm just going to, okay, I'm going to break my own rules. Let me just put this here. Actually, I can scoot this. Okay. 
yeah, I'm not collecting OT9 for these, so <laughs> might as well scoot everything up, I guess. What is this signal? Uh, should I even put this in error order? I don't even know. Honestly, I don't have the energy for this. Just gonna scoot it up. Should we just like talk about stuff? I don't even know what to talk about. Um, there's a lot that happened in the K-pop world. Um, I mean, since we're on Twice, I guess we can start talking about Twice. But yeah, obviously, you know, like I said in my unboxing video, Spiel Special was like so good. Almost, oh my god! Like, I swear, this year is like the year of Twice. Like, they just they're just releasing a bunch of bops and. Yeah, you know, they came out with Fancy and now Feel Special, and I just, I'm just in love with both of those songs, like Song of the Year material. I can't. Okay, why do I have this unofficial photo card here? <laughs> so, okay, let me just take that out, but yeah, um, yesterday actually, um, obviously this video is not going to be out, like, today, but yesterday was twice's like halloween fan meets were basically like you know it's like a fan meeting concert and they like dress up as like you know halloween costumes so um oh my god the costumes costumes were so funny like freaking taehyun as a genie that's genius honestly like oh my god that was hilarious and everyone else looks so pretty and like the fact that mina actually came out to um you know perform some songs and she was there at the fan meeting and surprised all the onces there that was such a happy moment for everyone like ugh. i really hope mina does get well soon so you know we can all see her again but obviously you know whatever is best for her you know we don't want to pressure her into anything you know, it's like, she's like slowly coming back though, and I really like that. Thank goodness she's okay. So, yeah. Very happy that she was able to perform some songs yesterday. And she like posted an Instagram um, picture because, you know, um, it was Twice's fourth anniversary. And, oh my gosh, like, it's so crazy to think that Twice has been a group for four years now. Like, damn. I remember because I started standing twice um, after their debut, actually, like a little after their debut. And Twice was actually the group that got me back into K pop. I actually wasn't into K pop um, because, uh, yeah, I just didn't like K pop during like middle school. But like towards the end of middle school, um, that was when Twice debuted and I started listening to Like Ooh Ah. And that's, I started um, standing them ever since. And then, you know, Cheer Up came out. And then I saw them at KCON 2016. And the rest is history. But um, yeah, that was actually when I started to stand twice since their debut. So it's so weird to think that they're like, I've been standing twice. And, you know, I got back into K-pop like four years ago. That's crazy. Time really does fly. Okay, I'm going to take all these out because... You know, I'm going to be using all this space. <sighs> okay, I'm just... I'm, like, so tired right now. I don't even know why. Like, um, yesterday... Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Today's Sunday, by the way, and I totally wasted my Saturday because, um... Yesterday, I... Yesterday morning, um, I had to go to a college essay meeting for my application obviously that was at like 9 a.m and then um i didn't like do my um essay like edits and stuff so i had to do that at like i had to wake myself up at 6 a.m to finish that before my meeting so that was a bad decision but um yeah i had a closing shift for work the on friday and then so um after that like after i finished i had to shower and then eat and stuff so obviously it was already late and then um, I had to wake up at 9 a.m., actually 6 a.m. And then, you know, I had to go to my meeting at 9 a.m. 
And then right after that meeting, um, I had to add a morning shift for work. So, you know, a closing shift, college meeting in the morning, and then a morning shift. <sighs> you can imagine how tired I am because of school also, but yeah, I had to deal with all that. And then I came home at like 4.30 yesterday because that was when my shift ended. And then I actually um, had to finish editing my, um, I had to like re-edit my room organizing video because um, my audio got copyrighted, even though it was literally iTunes, like iMovie music, it still got copyrighted for some reason. So I had to um, replace all the audio, which was so annoying because editing iMovie, editing with iMovie on your phone, it's so annoying, like especially with sound, like there were so many complications. And so it took like an hour just to replace the audio. So um, I ended up, after, after that, I, um, while my video was exporting and uploading, um, since it, since it was a really long video, it took a while, so I decided to take, like, a mini nap, and I thought I'll wake myself up at, like, like, an hour later, so I would take, like, a one-hour nap. I ended up waking up at 10 p.m. <laughs> I fell asleep at, like, 5 p.m., and I woke up at 10 p.m., so I took a freaking five-hour nap, so I wasted my entire Saturday, which I'm so sad about, but... Let's be honest, what would I have spent my Saturday on? <laughs> I have no life, but yeah, um, I had to, I had to shower because I didn't shower. I just took a nap, which is disgusting, I know, but I had to, um, you know, do all that. It was like midnight, and then I Uber Eats. I ordered Uber Eats um, for McDonald's because I was hungry and there was nothing open and I have nothing to eat at home, so... And then I ended up falling asleep at 4 a.m. and I woke up today at 12, so my sleep schedule is just effed up, but here I am now editing, I mean filming this video. Yeah, that's my life situation right now. Um, I actually just finished rearranging everything. Um, now I have all these photo cards. Um, I literally only have two spaces here and then a blank page. Guys, I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Okay, we'll see. I have this extra page too, so... Frick, I did not plan this accordingly. This is so annoying. I think I may have to take out some photo cards and put them later, but that kind of defeats the whole purpose of this series. <laughs> okay, so... Should I do it in, like, member order? I think I'm going to do that. So, Nayeon... I always put Nayeon once. Chongyeon... I pulled a lot of Chongyun and Julie for this album, so yeah, let's see. Oh, there's another Chongyun. <laughs> so many Chongyun photo cards, but not complaining, she's a queen. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, and then Momo. I only pulled this one. Can this go in? And then Tana, I pulled two, I think. Hana, Chihyo, Mina, then Taehyun, Cheong. Oh, it actually all fits. Oh, that's a shock. And then Chewy. Okay. And then the gold cards. I'm actually going to put them in a row like this because I like it like that. I like it like that. <laughs> So now I have these two empty spaces, I'm actually just going to put little placeholders. Okay. Boom, twice is done. Um, what I usually do with the pre-order benefit cards, I do put them like all in my binder. But since, you know, there's three of these and it takes up three whole pages, I'm not going to put it in right now. It's not going to be a priority of mine because I have a lot of other photo cards. So I'm not going to do this right now, but maybe later. But yeah, anyways, done with twice. I mean, I guess I can put the group one here since, you know, it fits technically. So I will do that. So... I'll put the group ones, at least. So it feels more complete. Okay. Okay. 
Yay. And I have this one spot empty. I'm just gonna put a placeholder here so it's like complete. Uh, can this please go in? Okay. So wrinkled now. Okay. I definitely need to update these tabs because first of all, this has Stray Kids and you know, I have a separate binder for Stray Kids. So I'm gonna take that out for now. Okay, got seven. I actually do have a, like some got seven cards I need to put back. Let's see. Okay, so basically these cards, someone wanted to actually buy these from my Depop, but they never ended up buying it. So yeah, thanks for wasting my time. <laughs> Oh, it's so annoying when you're like, oh my, someone's like, oh my gosh, I'm interested in buying, like, let's buy it. I'm like, yay. And then they just end up not replying and I'm just like, okay, well, thanks for wasting my time. <laughs> and then I like took out all these photo cards and I was like ready to pack them up and stuff. And then they just like don't end up buying me. I'm just like, okay, thanks. <laughs> okay. And then I have these two Yu-Gi-Oh! God 7 is having a comeback soon though um, in November, so I'm very excited. Um, they did start the pre-orders and there are four versions, so yeah, I look forward to being more broke than I am, but okay, I have zero room for these, what? Are you kidding me? No, okay, I'm just gonna put these here for now. This is like the only extra space I have. See, this is what happens when you're not prepared and you don't have extra sleeves. I need to like order more on like Amazon or something. Or maybe just take my butt to Walmart and get some because that's where I get my sleeves from, from Walmart. Okay. Oh my god, his face is being covered. Whatever. Okay. Anyways, now we are moving on to NCT. Um, let's see. Okay, so for NCT... These are the cards I have, so um, these are the tour bus pictures. I actually didn't put these in the binder at first, but now I am. And then I have Super M. I surprisingly um, got all NCT members. I actually traded my photo cards for Mark and Lucas. And then I got an extra copy of the United version because I bought a VIP ticket for their concert, so they gave, gave me a free album. So I pulled Taeyong. I actually wanted to trade it for Lucas's other version, but I'm too lazy to do that right now. So I'm just gonna keep it. And then I have Johnny's little photo card from the magazine, I forgot, Decon magazine. And then Jeno's Kino PC. So yeah, my Mark collection is honestly like so complete and I'm very happy because he's like one of my ults. I just, oh, this, his other version of Fire Truck is like impossible to find, so. Still, I don't have that yet. And I need to, I feel like I need to trade Taeyong for Mark for the bus PC, but again, I have no time for that right now. So yeah, anyways, um, what should we talk about? Um, oh my gosh, this is like kind of a dark topic. So it's kind of like a trigger warning, I guess. So you guys can like mute it now, but I, I, I feel like this has to be like, you know, I can't just like ignore it since it is a huge part of K-pop. Um, Tully, um, what happened with Tully um, and her passing, it's very unfortunate. And it's so sad to think about that something like this happened again. Um, you know, like um, I was actually, FX was actually one of my favorite groups. Like, before I stopped liking K-pop in middle school, FX was, like, a huge group that I loved. Um, I loved all their songs. I knew all of them. And, um, you know, I was so sad when, um, you know, they weren't having another comeback after, like, years. And we were all waiting for, like, a FX reunion. Even though Tully technically wasn't in FX anymore since she left. You know, it's just, you know, her being well and all that. But then, you know, something like this just suddenly happens and it's just, it's so hard to like process. Um, yeah, like just something like, something so like significant, like this happening, like it's crazy to think about this, um, you know, oh, I don't even know what to say. It's just, you know, so sad to think about. And I feel like, this should really open up people's eyes as to what they, 
like what comes out of their mouths because you know there's a lot of like toxic energy and like negative energy in the k-pop community especially on twitter you know i always see like people making mean comments you know people putting groups against each other and making everything a competition and you know not even just that like you know making everything about stats and um making people fun of people's appearances and judging people's appearances to fit their own like perfect you know perfect ideal type which honestly is so dumb like everyone has their own standards and everyone is beautiful honestly like i don't know why people are so judgmental but yeah um i really did love fx and i love totally um so i really you know my condolences go out to you know, um, everyone who's affected by this, you know, whether it's the members, you know, other artists in SM, any other K-pop artists, fans, family, friends. I really can't, like, imagine, you know, like, how real this is, I guess. But it's just so crazy to think about. And I really hope, you know, this opens up people's eyes and, you know, they see that hate is seriously unnecessary and um, they can just, everyone can just be nicer on the internet because, or like if you, if, if they're like thinking like something negative, like if they have negative thoughts, they should just not say it, just keep it to themselves because, uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna stop talking about this. I don't even know why I mentioned it, but yeah, that's just, uh, you know what's holy? She, you know, heaven gained another angel. Um, she's finally free from, you know, all the terrible, cruel things that happen in this world. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, enough about that. Um, yeah, so you can see that uh, um, I organized my mark collection. Um, there's like an empty spot here, so... I just put a little placeholder and then I put Johnny stuff here. This is like a fan-made photo card, so I'm not gonna put it like here right for now, but yeah, I do, this is, I think this is my last sleeve that I have, which sucks because I have so many other cards to put in, but we'll see what happens. But anyways, um, speaking of Super M and SM, like I actually am going to Super M's concert. Um, I managed to get VIP tickets to their LA show and I'm very excited, um, yeah, um, it was so, cause it's so unfortunate that I couldn't go to any of their other events. Oh my god, there's something I need to talk about, like, they freaking had a fan, Super N had a fan sign in Fullerton, um, if you guys didn't know, um, Fullerton, I live so close to Fullerton, and where they had it, I literally live, like, five minutes away, so, but the thing is, I didn't find out about this fan sign because um, they literally, oh my god, I'm so mad. They announced it at 11.30 p.m. on Facebook only the night before the fan meet. Like, like literally no one knew about it. It was so low-key and last minute that I didn't find out until the next morning during my physics class when someone told me about it. I was like, what? So obviously by the time I like checked it out, it was already sold out, so... I couldn't go, I was so sad, and I couldn't wait in the standby line because, you know, I have a life, I have school and work, so I can't just waste six hours on a Wednesday just standing out there, so oh, I'm so freaking sad that um, I couldn't go to the freaking one time that an idol is going to come to freaking Fullerton, literally like the area that I live in, and it's a free fan sign, so I'm so mad about that. I could have met Mark, and I could have gotten a signed album. <sighs> I'm so mad just even thinking about that like I, that's all I thought about that day like how I just I'm just a failure as a person and I just didn't know about the freaking fan sign and I'm a fake fan I literally oh my god and I even had their freaking Twitter notifications on but they just post had to post it on Facebook like literally out of all the fan signs they posted it like on Instagram and Twitter but the Fullerton one of course they posted it on freaking Facebook so yeah how often do you check Facebook I'm like saying the same thing but yeah anyways i'm done with that done with nct um next let's see um we'll move on to 17 because 
I have this giant stack of photo cards from their OTU era. So yeah, this is definitely not all gonna fit, but we'll try. So yeah, um, okay. I'm just gonna take out some photo cards that I have since I'm running out of sleeves, for example. I don't really collect Astro anymore. I just decided to keep some Chanwu and Moonbin photo cards. So I'm just gonna take these out for now. No hate, no shade against them, obviously. I just need more space right now. So I'm just gonna take out some sleeves because I actually did run out of sleeves like completely. So, um, and I actually don't collect pen Pentagon anymore. I just decided to keep some Wusuk photo cards because Wusuk is my bias. So whatever photo cards I have of Wusuk, I just kept. For example, Uzhuk during Shine era. I love these two photo cards, so I just decided to keep them. And then his little ID thing. Oh my god, okay, while I'm doing this, I feel like I need to talk about something that's like super, like... It, this, this seriously just bothers me so much. So basically, um, there's been a lot of talk. Okay, also, I don't even know why I have a black pink and a freaking pentagon triple h tab like i barely have any photo cards from them so i think i'm just gonna put black pink in a different like my miscellaneous because there's so little photo cards from them i don't think you know they need their own section but hopefully one day i'll be able to make sections for all my groups instead of just putting it under miscellaneous but yeah but anyways um what i was about to say is um so if you guys didn't hear i'm pretty sure you guys did but Recently, Super M got number one on Billboard 200 for their album, and obviously that's great news because, you know, like, a K-pop group being on I Billboard 200 is a big deal. You know, not a lot of groups achieve that. I think only BTS has. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't check stats that often, but yeah. Um, anyways, they achieved that, and, you know, congrats to them, um, and I'm really happy about that, but a lot of people were not so happy about it. Um, Especially a particular fandom. I'm not gonna say who, but um, because I am, even though I am a part of that fandom, I'm not a part of that fandom where they're acting like total brats. Yeah, completely un unnecessary. But anyways, um, people were not happy because like of the way they sold their albums. Like, um, what should I call it? They so basically, um, Super M did like a bunch of like bundles like with their tickets for their concert tickets you get a free album um with the merch you get an album yada yada and how people they're counting them as sales and people were like what the heck those aren't actual sales like what are you doing so people were saying they like cheated in a way but honestly like if, i don't know if people are aware like that's pretty much a common thing that all artists do in america like if you, if you really, like, see, like, all the artists that do this, like, you know, big artists like Billie Eilish, Ariana Grande, Shawn Mendes, um, Travis Scott, like, all these huge artists in America, like, they do bundles, too. Like, they do merch bundles. You get an album with their merch, with their tickets. Like, so many freaking artists do that, and they all have gotten number ones. Yet, no, people are so, like, aggressive towards Super M for doing it. Like, I don't understand why. <laughs> It's like, yeah, like when I bought my Shawn Mendes tickets for when I went to his concert, I literally got a free, I bought two tickets. So I literally got two free albums in the mail and no one was like talking about how, oh my gosh, Shawn Mendes cheated. Like, cause that's not really like the case, you know, like honestly speaking, a lot of artists do this. Maybe if Super M were the first people to do it, I would understand, but so many artists have done this and they got to number one. So I don't understand why Super M, like, is suddenly the bad guys for doing it. You know, like, I don't know if people feel threatened by Super M, but yeah, honestly, I feel like they should just stay silent. And even if um, Super M released, a, like, a chiz ton of bundles, like, the fans are still buying the bundles, they're still buying the merch, they're buying the concert tickets. So, I mean, technically, you know, I mean, they could just release a bunch of bundles and no one just buys them and they just flop, but the fans did buy them. So, I mean, I don't really see the issue. <laughs> Honestly, if their faves did it, like, I feel like a lot of, 
if these groups, like their own favorite groups, do the same thing, they would stay silent because it's their favorites. But I don't know. I feel like, you know, if another group got a number one in the Billboard 200 and they did like tour bundles and stuff, they wouldn't be saying the same thing. So I feel like a lot of people should just stay silent on the situation if, you know, they would react the same. So yeah, that's those are my thoughts and opinions on that situation. That that was a whole mess, honestly. Like the way people were like yelling at each other and freaking there like there's these people who are just like camping out on um under, you know, like Omez and um all these like news and charting sites where they like document this stuff. Like they're just like freaking commenting like flop on everything. I'm like, bro, do you not have a life? <laughs> like spend that time, I don't know, like streaming your favorite artists or something or getting a job so you can buy your favorite albums. I don't know. I feel I sound so rude right now, but it's the, it's honestly how I feel. So yeah, I feel like people should just focus on their favorites. The hate, again, like the hate is just so unnecessary. You know, people should really watch what they're saying because it can affect people in the long run. So yeah, care for what you guys say, guys. Oh my god, and another thing, like, okay, so recently BTS released a Make It Right, like, remix, or, like, they, they just collabed with Love, who's, like, a pretty popular American artist right now, and, oh, I don't know if he's American, is he? I don't know, but, you know, like, in the American market. Um, he's pretty popular, I know a lot of his songs, I really do like him, uh, you know, I like Paris in the Rain, and, uh, what else did he do? I like Me Better, yet. Yeah. but anyways, um... Uh, recently, he did a, I mean, not he, um, BTS did a song with Love. Um, they just redid um, Make It Right, which is honestly such a perfect song for Love. I feel like his voice just fits it perfectly. So when I heard it, I was like, oh my god, this is so good. I loved it. And it was actually like, like such a last minute, like, release. It was literally announced the day before. And the music video came out and they actually got like 10.7 million views in the first 24 hours i think and like 2.3 million likes i don't know but something around there and that's pretty good in my in my eyes i feel like that's really good especially you know a lot of k-pop groups don't get a lot of views in the first 24 hours so i feel like something you know like that is pre like that's a pretty good achievement in my opinion even though that's not obviously it's not a like the biggest deal in the world i feel like people take views so seriously like it's still a you know a good achievement to celebrate well um a lot of people were saying how make it right like flopped because it didn't get like it only got 10 million views during the digital age right now which is honestly the stupidest thing like people have said like you know make it right is I don't know if they know this, but Make It Right was already released as a B-side for Persona like six months ago, I think. What was it, April? Like seven months ago. And it was announced the night before. And, you know, like, it's so last minute, yet they achieved that many views. And it's charting pretty well on the Korean charts as well. So, yeah, to the people who are calling it flops, like... I don't, like, what would you not consider a flop then? <laughs> like, there's so many groups out there who don't even chart, so... I don't know, like, people are, people are just so obsessed with stats nowadays. Honestly, it's good to celebrate and be like, it's, like, cool to be like, oh my gosh, like, wow, they achieved this, that's so cool. Like, this many views and this many hours. But, I don't know, people, people some people who just, like... Ugh, I hate the people who just, like only like see groups for their stats and they're just they just like freaking care so much about numbers and you know if they didn't get a hundred million views in like a hundred days they're like oh my gosh it's a flop we need to stream 24 7 like no like i feel like you know there's more to life than just k-pop and you know k-pop is just a genre of music so please don't take it that seriously <laughs> Like, please maintain a social life at the same time. Like, you know, you have school to worry about. You have college. You have your future. Like, if you put this much energy into K-pop, then I feel like you should re really reconsider your options. I mean, I consider myself to put a lot of time and energy into K-pop, but not like that. Not like in that sense. But, yeah, some people need to calm down when they say the word um, flop. Like... Oh, I don't know, sometimes the K-pop community just kind of pisses me off. 
but it is what it is, so yeah. Oh shoot, I totally forgot about this hoogie card. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just like not even like separating it that well. I'm just combining it because I have like zero space. I'm sorry if you guys are like, this is so not satisfying, but it's me you're talking about, so yeah. Okay, anyways, you guys can see for X1, I actually traded my photo cards for Johan. So I am very happy about that. I love him, he's so adorable. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put those there. And then um, I actually have Johan's, I actually have Johan's standees as well and this bookmark, but I don't have his Quantum Leap bookmark. So if you guys wanna trade Johan for Unsung's bookmark for Quantum Leap, let me know. So I can have like an entire like Johan set. But I think we are almost done actually. Um, one issue I'm running into is that I have these ATs cards and I don't think I have enough room. So that is gonna be an issue. Um, let's see. Okay, these cards I feel like, you know, for now I'm not gonna put them in there. Like these message cards. Just like not gonna deal with that right now. Okay, keep in mind you guys that um, this entire time I'm filming, like I stand when I film because I film on my sister's dresser because it's like the only white clean surface in this house. And there's since it's on a dresser, it's not like a table, I can really sit down and it's pretty high up. So I have to stand while filming all my videos. So I've been standing still for like, what? It's been almost 40 minutes and my ankles are starting to give up on me, so. Pray for me, I'll put... Let me just put these cards in first. Oh, oh my god, I really want to get those MMT, those My Music Takes photo cards for ATs. Like, they're so cute, but I do not want to order from MMT because A, it takes forever to arrive, and B, the shipping is insane. Like, it's more expensive than the album itself, so... Just for one photo card, I feel like that's not really worth it, but... That's just my opinion. Um, I'm gonna put... This fits in here, right? Okay. Spooky. I'll put this postcard right here for now, since it's like miscellaneous. Okay. Um, okay, so I am officially out of these nine pockets binder um, sleeves. So I'm gonna have to order more of those or like buy them. But for now, I do have a bunch of these four pocket sleeves so I'm just gonna put some of these photo cards in these sleeves for now because I don't I just don't want any photo cards to be you know like just not in my binder or else I might lose them because I'm so messy but I'm just gonna put like the remaining cards in these binders because yeah I have no room like literally no more room I mean no more sleeves so I'm just gonna put the rest of AT's group cards here and then these like message cards to be honest, I don't really see the point of these, in my opinion. Like, I know this was like connect and stuff, but I mean, who really collects these? <laughs> yeah, I feel like another selfie card would be nice, but oh well. And then my Pentagon slash Triple H photo card, I'll just put it here. And then, let's see, Astro photo cards, I'll just put them here now so I think oh my god am I done oh my god you guys I think I'm done I know it's like kind of messy right now but this is the best we can do um probably in my next video if I make another one of these videos I'm just gonna that's when I'm gonna ha I swear I'm gonna have more nine pocket sleeves so it's, it'll be way more organized but <laughs> yeah I think this is good for now, I managed to put all my photo cards in there. I honestly didn't think I would make it, and I technically didn't make it because that ending situation, but yeah, so I still have these photo cards to put in, but I will put this right here for now with my other pre-order stuff. I like how this is just all JYP pre-order stuff. All right. And also, I think I need to get a new binder because this is honestly unacceptable. I feel like I should split my girl groups and boy groups or like just split two groups or something. I don't know, but 
Okay, I think that wraps up this video. So yeah, that was it. Um, my feet and my ankles are killing me right now because I've been standing for like 40 minutes straight just talking. I'm like feeling a little lightheaded right now from talking so much, but yeah, this was once again another long ass video. Thank you guys so much if you guys, you know, stuck till the end and actually watched this video. I know there's like a small portion of you guys who actually like these type of videos. I know I actually didn't expect my last photo card video to be like that much of a hit compared to my other videos but it actually got a lot more views than I expected so that is why I'm creating more of these videos um expect more in the future but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed it make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe for this new videos oh my god like I cannot talk right now but yeah that's everything and I'll see you guys in the next video Bye guys.